Let's get started with our delicious coconut crusted chicken breast. All right, cool. So what I love about this dish is, well, the chicken part can all be made in one bowl. Okay. Well, kind of not. Actually, I thought about it now, two bowls, but you could. Kind of, maybe, no? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't, don't always mix cool. everything in the same bowl, why not? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our chopping board and we'll start chopping our coriander first. Cause we don't want to get the chickeny bits on the board first, am I yes. right? Oh, yeah, absolutely we gotta right be smart, you. so cool. That. So coriander's really great, but what I find people do is they end up using the leaves only. Yes, which I do. Why? Oh, wait, 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 wait. the flavor is inside the leaf, isn't it? Because the stems are, I don't know what the stems do, really. But Dan, you don't even really eat coriander. I have been so... forced to eat coriander because it is such, again, one of those trending herbs in the garden. Every restaurant, if you want to go have a five-star uh, meal, you're going to have to have coriander somewhere in That's there. That's very true. Because it's, it's such an interesting taste and it is one of the freshest flavors for summer. So It really is. You can't avoid it. Use the stalks, though, okay? okay. So the stalks have and the a reason. lot. Yes, they've got a lot of flavor as well. Which I kind of think for you, because you're kind of getting into it, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Well, yeah, it is an intense flavor. I guess I always thought that the leaf had the most intense flavor, so it's interesting to know that the stalks also got a lot yes. of that. Yes. So they all lend something to the coriander flavor. Yeah. So definitely don't toss it out. Use okay. it. Cool. cool. All right. So next we're gonna go a little bit of. Actually, Dad, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you to do this. I wanna, I wanna see oh, your no. nice chopping make... skills. Oh no, you make me chop the thing that makes your fingers small for the next 10 days. All right, okay, cool, I'll Thank do this, you. I'll Much do better. this. You're actually a really kind guy. I never thought I would ever allow you to do this. Okay, cool. So garlic goes in, garlic is great. So when it comes to cooking, the, the most important thing is that you satisfying your taste buds, right? So you're yeah. gonna use flavors and you're gonna feel like you've actually eaten a meal that you really enjoyed. Yeah. So use garlic, use coriander, because they all have strong flavors. Mm -hmm. Like you said, yes, it's got a bit of a strong flavor, but like mixed in a symphony of flavors, is, nothing stands out as that one dominant flavor. True. Great. Uh, just a quick note though, can you get this in like sort of crushed garlic style or is it much better to chop it fresh? Yes, Obviously you're gonna can. say fresh is better, but You do get it already I? chopped, which is really great. Yes. But I mean, the fact that this has already been peeled, Hey. It's awesome. But also, bearing in mind, if you've got some garlic at home, it's one of those things you don't want to waste and go and buy a whole bunch of crushed garlic. We'll try to use what you do have in the fridge as you've got it. So if you've got peeled uh, garlic, we've got whole garlic cloves, just chop it up nicely. Don't <laughs> waste that stuff that you've got at home. Exactly. So, onto the chicken that we're using. So today we're using chicken breasts. Chicken lean meat. Is, yeah, exactly. Lean is mean, right? We're going to go for lean meats because the fact, obviously, lean meaning there's no intramuscular fat or skin on the thing that's got a lot mm -hmm. of fat in it. Mm -hmm. But my problem with chicken breast, and I've never been a big fan of it, but it's changed. Because I've learned that lean meat does tend to go dry if you overcook it, but uh. there's certain things you can do to it to help tenderize and keep the meat juicy. Okay, I've never actually found that with the chicken breast, but I guess it's also because I'm so used to um, just sort of home style of cooking, which is dousing it in a whole bunch of really cool, delicious things. So yeah, <laughs> but I know what you're saying, when you do cook a whole chicken itself, the, the breast is usually the driest part exactly. of the chicken. So what you're gonna do to kind of counteract that is use a little bit of yogurt. Great, so, tenderize yeah. it too. Yeah. And we're gonna, like, you don't have to worry about- Can I do about... this part? This part I can do. Yes, cool. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna eyeball it. You kinda wanna go for three tablespoons. There we go. Cool, or and just I'm gonna ask like you... three hoys. Three hoys. As Clem would do it. Technical term. Yeah, uh, three hoys in there. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Yeah. And a little bit of pepper. So what the yogurt does is, and we know this happens with buttermilk a lot when we add it to chicken, it mm. actually tenderizes the, the chicken. Meat. Same thing happens with yogurt. So Dan, let's swap. Cool. Can I get, so you're can gonna, I get going? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Want me to take off your fancy watch? No, you don't need to because what I've done is I've taken off all my rings and I've washed my hands, so it's all good. such a baller. Take it me. off my rings. Yeah. Take it off my bling. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you want to massage the breasts until all the yogurt kind of disappears and that happens. Oh, it does For it. some reason, it's almost like okay, you're loving it too much now. Oh, sorry. Just, <laughs> just kind of like this. There not, we go. Not too what intense. What happens is the chicken actually absorbs all that yogurt You'll actually see the liquid start disappearing. Yeah, it is. It's and the yogurt breaks down the tissues inside the breast, meaning that oh. you're going to end up having a nice, tender, juicy piece of chicken. And it smells so good too, it does. but where does the coconut come in, Clement? Are you ready for it? Yes. So coconut, we're going to add into our dish over here. Coconut's great. So normally at this stage, we end up using breadcrumbs. Swap. Mm -hmm. We end up using breadcrumbs to coat oh, our done. chicken. But I mean, coconut's great. Uh, I was going to leave you like that, but I thought... Yeah, that's a bit gross, actually. <laughs> So all you do is now you add your tenderized chicken mm -hmm. to, you see I'm keeping my hands clean. Hey, I have tongues for you as well. So you got the garlic, you got garlic fingers. That's probably worse than what I've got. <laughs> Into the coconut. Cool. And that's gonna be our crust on our chicken. And what's really great is we don't need to add any extra oil when we roast this in the mm -hmm. oven, not gonna deep fry it. Okay. Because coconut's got a little bit of saturated fat in there ready, which is a good reason to not go too heavy on the coconut. So when you do heat it up like that inside of an oven or on a stove, or whatever, it will release a slight oil. Exactly. Oh, amazing. So don't add any extra fat to it. You gotta be really smart. And the biggest thing now is adding big flavor. As the coconut, to look at that. This honestly did so much good. Like, can you only see how clever Clem is with his great cloth skills that he's got over here? So clean, so neat, amazing, love it. 
I kind of think Clem is kind of clever right now. <laughs> so I'll go watch them now, now. as the coconut toast is going to release its own flavor, which is really yes, great. Yes, yes. So mm. you're kind of doubling up on ingredients. You're going to get that beautiful crunch and you're going to get that toasted coconut flavor. And I've battered some over here. But Delicious. the tip now is don't pop these straight into the oven. Let it sit for about half an hour. The reason for that is that yogurt absorbs the dry, the dry coconut, yep. but it becomes a proper sealed crust. Okay, so it's going to stick in there, it's going to fall off as you sort of pop it Which in Which is oven. a problem. Yep. Don't do that. Okay, cool. So this goes to the oven super quick, 15 minutes. It's going to be done. Delicious. Well, we're going to make a super side uh, for this as well a little bit later on, mm -hmm. which is going to be so yum. So make sure that you guys get all the details for this recipe on our website. It's afternoonexpress.co.za. I really think this is a perfect uh, dish for something like a school lunch or something for your kids, or whether it be something they come home to, or a perfect dinner option. So afternoonexpress.co.za, and this could be dinner or lunch for your kids in the next day. Over to you, Bonnie. Thank you, Danilo. It's so awesome to be back in the loft. I've missed absolutely everything about being here, especially the amazing cooking in the kitchen. And uh, we hope you had a great festive season. What was the highlight of your festive season? We asked a couple of you and you've commented on our Facebook page. And Kirimoni says, welcome back. Yay. Can't wait to see what you have in store for us this year. And we've got a lot in store. And Shamima Davis says, great highlight was going home to PE and spending time with family. And Offensa says the festive was dope. And welcome back, guys. We hope you also had a great one. Much love. Desiree says, hello everyone, it's good to have you back. Clement, I've, Clem, rather, I've missed your recipes over the festive. And Daisy says, I didn't enjoy the festive season so much. Ish, job hunting. Girl, get that job. I'm sure it'll come right. But after the break, we chat to Black South Easter, an eclectic and soulful blend. And they perform for us. Don't go away. Oh, so much yumminess. Our chicken just come out of the oven. The smells on this side of the loft are wafting and smelling so delicious. And don't forget, Black South Easter will be performing for us a little bit later on. Very exciting about that. We've got snacks as well for, for that performance, which I'm very much looking forward snacks. to. So we've created our uh, coconut crusted chicken breast for the first episode of 2017 of Afternoon mm -hmm. Express. It's come out of the oven. We've got to create a side now, though, because you don't even want just chicken breast for dinner. I mean, you could. You probably could. All men in the but, world are going like, yeah, you can. But everyone else is probably going like, I need something else. Like cool. something else to fill my husband's belly. Or So 2017 goals are actually mm. getting you to cook in the kitchen. I'm going to stand back. I'm just going to chill. Great. Swap side. Move out of the way. So, guys, this is... Put the sharp object just, just down. Just making it look cool. Just making it look cool Put for now. Put the sharp object down. There Stevie, you go. you got to make it look cool. There you go. There you go. Oh, That's a blunt one. So what are you going to do is you're going to make a nice spice rub for us. Cool. Happiness. Happiness. There we go. What so are we making? You haven't told us what we make. I'm making a spice rub, but for what? For our sweet potatoes, because it's going to be you, curry. Clemens. There we go. So mustard seeds. We haven't used this a lot. Mm. I love mustard seeds. So the 2017 goals, we're using a lot of spice. Yes. Okay? They, they say the seeds you plant in your heart are the seeds that manifest into flowers in your life. And the, the seeds you plant in your belly? Well, those are probably crushed up, so they'll probably just be digested and come out as, you know what. Let's, oh, put, our, let's put our mustard seeds <laughs> yeah, in there. Okay. Mustard seeds go in, about a tablespoon. Cool. There we go. Not yet, don't start yet. I won't. Then I've got some cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. Also a tablespoon. These are all just... basic flavors of almost drying biltong. Almost, 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 yes. almost. Coriander, yeah. cumin if very you want to. Very earthy, very citrusy, yes. It's kind of mm. like if you're thinking Borovo, South Africa. Yes, yeah, basically absolutely. that. Absolutely. Then we're going to go a little, so a little heat. We okay, have to have heat. Here's where we deviate slightly. Yo, uh, that's not a little bit of heat, Clem. Yoza. Dan, if you can't handle the heat. Stay out of the kitchen. There we go. Sure. So go, let's, this is our now pounding. Now I can go for it. So what I'm going to do... Oops. 2017 goals, let's not waste. Well, no, we just wanted to get rid of the chili in that thing there. Oh, so people that's don't... an amazing strategy. What I'm going to yeah. do is I'm going to add some salt. What happens is if I add the salt, it creates a bit of a braised property. Oh, this is delicious, by the way. So it smells so good. so good. You could kind of use it as a cologne. Yeah, well, just, no, just take maybe it, not. Just like rub it. It almost smells like a dukkha because of all of those, the coriander in there. It is, and it is mm. the coriander that's bringing out all those flavors. So, Dan, how's it looking? Well, I don't know. You tell me, Clem. You're the it's chef. But do it like good. this, it'll go faster. I know you guys there. can't see, and I'm sorry. You know what? You got to give it a little bit of a pounding. Oh, there we go. To crush it. I've always wanted to crush people's dreams. Uh, I feel like this is a family show. You need to bring oh. it back. Sorry, bring sorry. it back. <coughs> back. Okay, Hello, cool. Let's swap. Let's swap. Let's swap. I'm worried we're going to go. Are fantastic. Make them realize themselves. Okay, let's swap. Let's okay. like, you did a good job. Oh wow, you're just making it speed it up. So basically, I did okay. And you, you did okay. You did really well. You didn't put any turmeric in there. Do you need? The turmeric, I don't need to crush. Oh, okay, cool. cool. Oh, so yeah, can really you pop crushed. through that big um, oven roasting tray? Sure. I'm using sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are great because 
besides the fact that they have natural sweetness in them, they actually slow down the absorption of sugar. Lovely. They low GI. Is that what, it's, is that what the same That's thing exactly is? That's exactly what it is. La la. And I like keeping it with the skins on. The skins have so much flavor. Roughage, roughage, roughage. It is. So Dan, the you... season and all the carbs that we've been eating and all the stuff of the festive season, everyone needs a little bit of roughage in their lives. There the we go. The Can you sprinkle some of your amazing spice mix over the sweet sure. potato? I can do that indeed. That's enough for now, just for to explain what we're gonna do. Just show people what we're gonna do. Look at that, nice and coarse, nice and chunky. Because you actually want to taste what you're eating. Kind of. You don't want them to be too chunky though, otherwise you end up just having bites of flavor. So what would you give yourself out of ten for this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I give myself a good six. Oh shame! I was gonna give you like. Because if I did this, then no, now it's about an eight. You see? There we go. There we go. And again, I see how you're separating all the chili. There we go. <laughs> Away the from the sweet potato. Now a little bit of turmeric goes in. Turmeric's great. It's an anti-inflammatory. It is. It's like the list of amazing properties. It's in, never. It's like it's just. Chow it all the time, cool. okay? And it's also going to help you brown your, your sweet potato. It adds a nice brownness. And give you that beautiful yellow color. So this is what it looks like after it goes to the oven for about half an hour. Delish. Super, super delicious. Can I taste one? You can. Mm. So how I like to finish it off is a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper, mm. and a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice just brings out the flavor of all those other spices we got going on in there. A lot of earthy flavors in there, so that like zestiness of the lemon will be perfect. It is, and mm -hmm. like I said, everything is big on flavor, bringing out the flavor of food. And tricks, that way you tricks to crisp these, sorry. You can pop it back in the oven under 200 degrees, super crispy, if mm -hmm. you want. Mm. I kind of like them not No, crispy. that flavor is delicious like that. Just eat it like that. Honestly, it is so yummy. Mm. Cool. Cold Clean hands. Go down. Then mm -hmm. I've got our chicken that have come out the oven. Oh, it didn't even go that brown. Yeah. You, well, the thing is, not you don't want to toast it too out. much. Yeah. But you can if you want, but I mean, you don't want to overcook the chicken. You have a dry piece of chicken inside. Yeah, well, I mean, who wants like, that? It's like, then it becomes like a coconut crusted rusk. Hey. To put in your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> in your coffee? Coffee, yeah. Okay, cool. So, Dan, can you add a little bit of yogurt to this bowl for me? Just give sure it, like, can. just shake it out. You don't need a spoon for that. You've you've skilled mm. enough. I say I've that. I've seen you do this, and it's nice and double thick, so it doesn't, like, just pour out. There we go. A little bit of coriander goes on there. A little oh, bit of... so good. Because we don't have enough. No, Clem! <laughs> okay, be fine. brave. Be brave. Fine. It actually wasn't that spicy, by the way. The, the sweet potato that I ate wasn't too bad. It was exactly. delicious. A little bit of lemon juice on everything. Mm. And that's your Monday night dinner. As if you weren't sour enough, add some more lemon right to the end of everything you just added lemon to in the meantime. Clem, this looks so delicious. Uh, if you guys want to make this recipe, you want to find all the details on how to get it, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. And while you're on your mobile device, make sure you go and head over to our Facebook page and tell us what you got up to over the festive season. And speaking of which, here's Jeans. Exactly, and we've got some amazing responses from all of you out there watching online or on TV, what you've been doing this festive season. We've got some amazing responses. Monique Scott says, welcome back. Wishing you a great year. The highlight was spending time with family and, of course, recharging and recovering from an operation, it seems. Warm wishes and a great show. Then Helen Tabele says, welcome back, guys. I missed you, even though the cricket kept me busy. Don't forget, the cricket is going to be on this Thursday and Friday, so we're unfortunately not going to be on again then. Then Kia Mohalakhang Nuna de Kock says, the festive was the best. As I'm about to start my new journey at university, I wish all the best year, year to the uh, festive, uh, the fest to the first year students. I'm going to go back to school and learn how to read. And then Mupenzi says the highlight of my festive season was being in Cape Town with so many amazing and diverse personalities and just breathing air that's much fresher than what I'm used to in East London. In love with uh, Gigi and her conscious mind. Love having Afternoon Express back on SABC3. So remember, we're going to have the phenomenal sound that is Black Southeaster on After the Break. <laughs> 